Hi guys, this is Sasa Cocktails. Okay, today I'm going to show you my um, layout finished project. So if you want to see the how I did it, the whole thing, you have to go watch uh, the series. I have like only 5 videos, I believe. Yeah, I have only 5 videos how I did it. Okay, first of all, I'm going to say um, the paper that I used from Prima. Um, the Delight Collection. Um, the delicate one. So this is what the page call um, the paper. So I turn on the edges here and this just with the tea dye, Tim Ho tea dye. See, you can see. And after that, I place my photo and trace so see where my where I'm going to put my uh, photo. So I, you know, lay on this side and I trace this. And after that. I use this acrylic pen. This is uh, one of my favorite acrylic pen when it's white from Fort Art. I use my palette knife. Let me see. So like I scrape from this up here, just only this part here. And then from this up here. So I just kind of rotate it. Like if I come to one coming down this way, I rotate them. So and same thing with this side too. So I use some acrylic paint to get you know paint the bottom there. So we do the same thing with four corner, uh, four side sit there. So this color is it empty now. We won't show it away. Sorry, that make a noise. And after that, I use see I make the color like it, the drop color there. So I use the two color here. This is my all time favorite color. This color here is the uh, BB blue, I guess, and it has so has so this so berry. So I love it. You know, last time when I make you this color with this color, and now I use this with this color. <laughs> so what I do what I spray. First I spray this color, the blue first, I make like three spots and I just tap, tap, tap and to get so the, um, the the spray will run down because I spray up here and I tap, tap them so they run down here and I dry them so we do the same with, I do each color first because I don't want the blue to mix with this although I will change the color so I want the blue to get this blue when I dry this one up and I spray and I this color and I tap tap to get the water run down like that so I did all the four of them four sizes here see all of it I do the same thing I rotate them and tap 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 them guys so that this color for this project I just love this so after that I um did you see the tap? I used my new stencil, the the circle stripe. I'm not sure what. I I don't know where it went. After I used it, I cleaned them and now I guess I lost it somewhere. Oh here, I found it. See this stencil? I'm not sure you guys can tell, but if you saw my store haul, you will see it. Same same idea we did, but this is uh, the honeycomb shape. But this one, I used the circle one. Uh, it's not. See it? Okay. I have my journal on the back there. So, anyways, that, uh, that I call the, the circle strip stencil. I love this one. I use the texture, this one uh, patina from Shimmer, so I love the texture. So I use all the corner. So this side it doesn't matter because it's a couple of it, but I did, you know, four sizes. So and then, what else? Oh, I lay, uh, this one is the tag, you can see here, it, it's the package from Prima. So I cut in half, put stuck on there, there and right here, and this is the lace. I show who give it to me, and then I use the wall, wall tape, like this tape. So I lay on the top of the lace, and I 
lay on there and I kind of lay underneath the list there and I have there and I think I have some here and here too and then this paper I decided to make it I thought I want to make like a journal but I end up making writing the journal on the back so this one kind of like a plain one I might decide to write something later on not sure yet anyway uh, what's next I Oh, the gates I you this the gate I saw uh Angela did you different gate the one another one not this one. Then she used the shipboard I used the wood. See Angela you did gate but the shipboard and I used this one. So I paint this in um I don't know, I will like acrylic paint for her. After that I spray with um I'm not, it's, I think it's hot. There no heavy metal. I just get some of these. I think, yeah. And maybe I did some. Not sure. I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, so I spray that. So and then I use this color, the Takumi, uh, Takumi Tonkoi. To just get some, uh, slightly not too much. There. After that, I, you know, dab with some um, ivory acrylic paint for art around to get that, you know, sharpie a little bit to tone the color down. I think might be it. I'm not sure, but I think that is how the look came out. If you want to see how I did it exactly, you have to go watch me. Anyway, all oh, this sentiment I love you forever. So this my shipboard sentiment is, again I painted it with um I really acrylic paint and then I spray with two two color to get this um the color the same with this one. And I might rub a little bit with um I really acrylic paint there and I here down there and this one for the sheer from my like, collection and this primer the spray, remember the one I have left over from my big bird cage? And I use Prima um, Fairy there. And this is all Prima flowers. Oh, this is actually white, and I paint this in. Um, let's see, maybe this color magenta. I think uh, I think this color from Potter. I think so, yep. And then I use some acrylic paint on there and these two color it's actually white kind of white like this and I dip in with my two color here so I get that color see here and this Pima flower this are uh, like collection flower this for my stash flower and I use my sentiment enjoy the moment there for my momento and this like collection flow. I think um pretty much that it I think that took me a little while to okay, because like uh this oh this flower is like collection flower. I think pretty much that it guy. I just love it how it turned out. Alright, thank you everyone for keep watching. I think I have to back up with the uh, shipboard or cardboard to put in um in shadow box or something. Alright, that's it guys. Thank you guys for keep watching and I will see you guys later. Bye bye guys.